Hello guys, JNM here with the latest features and changes for Blender 2.8 since my last video. The first one is a shortcut. As you know, when you press A you select all in edit mode and you expect when you press A again that you deselect all. But this won't happen anymore, you have to press Alt and A to deselect all. It might be hard to get used to it, but it's more consistent to other shortcuts. Ok, the next change can be noticed in the sculpting mode, first of all you have new icons and there are also two new items in the tools. The first one is box height, you can draw a box onto the screen and everything inside of this area is hidden now. Here you can see this in edit mode and there's a menu to show the hidden parts again, this one here, height slash mask and when you select show all the hidden parts are shown again of course you can also use the shortcut Alt and H. Another box brush is for masking, you draw a box again and for the parts inside of this box a mask is added. To invert the mask you can press Ctrl and I and to get rid of the mask you press Alt and M. Here's a change for pressing the spacebar, when you press it now you can see all the tools that are available for your selected mode but the first entry is the search. Before Blender 2.8 the spacebar opened the search, this is different now, but you don't need to open the tools when you want to have a search box, you can press the F3 key to open the search directly. Ok, now for some Python script changes that I had to implement to make my add-ons work again. To split columns of a row, you have to add the factor parameter explicitly. If you don't, an error is raised and your script stops executing. I had to do this for my PBR texture add-on and for my hard surface add-on fastcalf. The changes are uploaded to my GitHub repositories, the link is added to the description below. Alright, last but not least a bug fix that I highly appreciate, the X-ray feature for bones works again. I add a bone here and as you can see it is hidden by the cube, but when I enable X-ray you can see it through the cube. It's amazing that this is fixed, because now it's really a pleasure to work with armatures, bones and to create animations with EV real-time rendering. Ok guys, these were the changes that I noticed in the latest version, perhaps there are even more, but I try to come up with a video when I found something new and interesting. So guys, if you liked the video and my channel then don't forget to subscribe, thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support if you want to support me on my Patreon and I'll see you soon on JNM.